Hello, I'm Ray. I'm stood on top of my shed and we're looking at our wisteria. This channel is all about growing your own fruit and veg and flowers and DIY tips on the way. So today we're going to show you how to prune wisteria. This is my wisteria that we've got on top of an arbor, which is inside my shed. But it's uh, good and crazy, so it needs a summer crop. Wisterias need two prunes a year, one in the winter and one in the summer. So the summer one can be done in July, August, and the winter one can be done in February. So let me show you what we do. So this plant has been growing on my arbor for three years and this year was one of my best blooms in May. I just decided to bring out a few random flowers middle of July. But we do need to top it back as it's getting out of control. It's gone a bit crazy. So all the growth that's coming over my shed has got to go. No, that's not restricting the roof. So this is the main stem. And as we planted it, it was only this thin. And it twisted as it went up the side. As you can see, it's grown quite a size but now we don't want all these wispy bits coming out because they're just going to grow randomly so all these can just come off so once your wisteria is flowered it sends out these wispy runner bits and these need to be either trained onto your trellis or given a prune as they do cause problems if you don't keep them under control. There's an easy way to remember how to chop these and it is February, July. So the month of July is seven. So you take the branch and you count seven buds and you get a bit chop after the seventh one. And then February, which is the month of two, the second month of the year, then you cut the same branch back to two buds. So let me show you. So this is our whippy bit growth. So we follow it right back to the start and we count seven branches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we give it a cut. Seven. And we do the same. This one here, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. And we go through that, the whole plant, counted to seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we cut. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We give it a cut. So as you can see, just a few cuts and it's already taken shape. So here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and top. So we don't need any of these wispy growths right there. So all these new ones can be topped, as you can see, they're going under the shed. You cut right back to the stone. Otherwise, it's just three grown. All these are new. New branches off the stem. So they can all go. We've got enough growth on top so we don't need to worry. As you can see, it's getting underneath. See it's all in the fence, all tangled in. So, uh, Keeping on top of that just stops any further trouble. So that's all done. Two more. This is all fairly new growth. But then when we come to prune in January, then all the leaves will be gone. Now we're not intruding through the fence and under the shed. And it's already made a big difference. This is what we've done on that side. And we repeat it on this side. So here we go, another one. This is our branch. This is the wood. The one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. We go back to the wood. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and cut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cut. So halfway through. And you can see what we've done. And you can also see what's been taken off. So if you're wanting to train your vine, it's a good opportunity to do it now. 
that can just be tied up, placed in space. So here's another example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cut. The shed's all clear, the stem's all bare, and it's had a bit of a chop. So it doesn't look pretty, but it will give it some breathing space and not so intrusive on the shed where my plant is now. But I do have to clear this up. I've also done a video of how to take your wisteria cuttings, so I'll add a link above in the description below and we can actually make use of these grippy bits. So thank you for watching, now I've got to clear all this out, oh well. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, get notifications when I post some more. So thank you very much. Cheers.